What a bunch of crock. Superstitious nonsense that I am cursed to be reminded of daily. It's not enough that I have to sleep in the middle of this godforsaken piece of land amongst the... Forgotten. But I also have my mother's voice in my head, and I really hope it will just stop. I think this life has finally taken its toll on me. I wonder, how does it feel to be dead? Is it cold like here? Is it warm like the summer? Does it hurt? Will I feel it? I met this boy, Lucas. He is the most handsome boy I have ever seen. He's tall, he's thin, and a thorough lover. I was in his bed. His well-groomed hands glided gently touching my back while his soft lips ate me with gentle kisses. They did plan this. By keeping me away from the colony. How do you know? I heard reports of enemy scouts in this forest. I thought it was a job. Not the one I was expecting. Distraction. Am I doing the right thing? Why would you doubt it? After the destruction of the colony, that's all I can think about. Was it my fault? My fault? I wasn't good enough. I wasn't theft. Enough. Jack, stop. See you later, boys. I'm off to the strip club. They said no. Bloody brilliant! Where is she? I want to talk to her. Who? Who do you think? That appalling woman who runs this place. Elaine? Oh, yeah. She's lovely. Huh. Not like a pain in the arse. I don't know. I think she's sweet. Hmm. Only those on the forums are allowed to take you out. Since when? What forums? It's a new policy Elaine is enforcing. I tried to tell you about it last week. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Why don't I work on getting your children added to your list? Huh. You'd have more chance of getting Ron on my list than my kid. Oh no, Ron's another resident. He cannot be added to your list. 